peace of mind obviously got to do the work at the bottom there but just to see condition inside also something else to store There we go, I can breathe with joy. It's probably about the only thing I've uncovered and not discovered rust on. Got a little bit of measuring to do now. So this is the replacement panel. It's a um, clock a home panel. Is that clock a home panel? And um, they're the only ones that make it apparently at the moment. So, have a little measure up. Get it in, eh? I'm gonna use as less as possible of this because it's obviously uh, Shocking. You can see along this bottom edge there, the old filler fairy's been out. Right, so I didn't film the last piece that I've done, but I've literally just tacked that strip in now. You've got to be careful though. I mean, this this bottom edge, it's not even straight. When you look underneath, I don't know if you can see it, it's just not straight at all with that door. I've marked it from underneath, the excess, just for future reference. Now I'm going to flip it over and uh, measure up for that replacement panel on the outside. So again from this side the piece that I've just put in runs from corner to corner and if you follow it along you can see the excess from this side. That replacement is not even straight but it's easily rectified just be a case of shaving it down. Right so I've had a measure up and I'm going to make an initial cut along that whole line there. Now that is 50 15.7 mil from top to the bottom of the door and that's going to be an initial cut so I can very carefully measure what we've got here and I'll take a slight sliver off. That should be, hopefully, the final mark made with the panel fitting nice and flush. So, just want to make sure it's pushed right up. I've got to cut along that black line there. Should get it. a little tidy up before the next step so still yet to take a little bit more filler and paint off of this edge just so I can get that well done and everything inside has been rust treated and seam sealed so get it ready get that panel in managed to get the panel set exactly where I want it now just by using these two ratchet straps just to bring it all together now that's going to give me the opportunity to uh, throw some tacks in along the way and uh, I'll flip it over and fold them edges down afterwards I think Obviously put a little skim of filler on there, still got to do a few more layers of that yet, but feeling the door, there's a real big 
dent right in the center here and it's just where the uh, cross members come across so I can't even get a hammer behind it so shrinking disc it is fetch that out a little bit and a little bit more filler on there if only all these bumps and dents could talk eh? but they have a few stories to tell I mean probably a few stray campsite footballs rebounding off the door or maybe some heads from a drunken feud around the fire you never know Still identifying the low and the high spots. I mean, I've just bashed these high spots down a little bit, and uh, it looks like a lot of filler, but it's really not. It's, um, it's actually quite smooth. But going to get a, another couple of little skims on there and uh, sand it back and continue doing it over and over again. But I might start making the videos a little bit shorter, or if not, a little bit more sparse, just purely because there's so much body work to get done and there's only so much filling and sanding that you could probably watch it looks like the old steering box is leaking quite bad still so that's going to be another job on the list for down the line so that's a bit of the uh, front bumper work done also managed to in between the rain showers get it sanded back and uh, giving it a coat of primer obviously but i'm going to revisit it sand it down in the areas where needed and uh, give it a little bit of filler work here and there but um, that'll be another day Got a guy coat on there now just to see where I'm at. That rear bumper up there actually needs a little bit of welding work done, but um, I'll do that when it comes to getting a little bit of the roof work done once I get the welder out again. Just got some filler primer on there now, but I'll let that go and uh, make it better than it was. I'll see you on the next one.